How's it going everyone? My name is Bayzy and welcome to another video. Ghost Recon Breakpoint has came a long way since launch in 2019, though it has been a journey that's been tough. Though I do feel like it's in an alright state now and I'm hoping that 2021 can further improve the game and add some features which will definitely make the game worth playing. So in this video I want to cover what I want the Ghost Recon team to do this year. I think it's fair to say that Breakpoint didn't have the best of starts and that the updates that have came so far have definitely improved the game. That's obviously including Ghost Experience 1 and the second update that came in November. There is also the content updates in which arrived for Episode 2 and Episode 3 in which added the Deep State DLC and the Red Patriot DLC. These I find were decent DLCs and definitely worth paying for a year one pass for. I did make a video whether it's worth buying Ghost Recon Breakpoint or buying the year one pass so do go check them out. But for the amount of discounts that have been happening recently for Ghost Recon I feel that it's definitely worth buying the game and buying the year one pass when them discounts are happening. It's unclear whether there is going to be a year two for the game just yet because it hasn't been announced. I'm guessing a roadmap might come out for 2021 late January or maybe early February. Last year it happened on the 20th of January so do kind of look out for something like that to come and that might be the announcement for year two. But if they don't do that, we'll just have to keep an eye out for an update because they will make some kind of roadmap post update. I do believe they are going to be updating the game past this point because there is nothing to say that they're not going to be doing this. Of course, there isn't a new Ghost Recon game coming out anytime soon. We've just got Breakpoint to contend with at the moment. But of course, the only thing which is confirmed is that Live Event 3 which is still not announced on what that's going to be. I feel like this live event is going to be quite enjoyable to be honest because we had the Terminator one and then we also had the Resistance one which both were quite good to be honest and added more content to the game so hopefully this third one is going to be adding to the game even more and of course this one is technically part of year one. They haven't really said it's part of year one and I don't know if there's going to be an announcement saying they've provided all the year one content they did announce that they provided all the year one pass content back in around about October time I believe but they haven't fully provided the whole of the year one content just yet but the next update should be pretty much the end of year one. So moving on to things in which I would like to maybe see within a year two of course I have to start with just content in general I would love to have like maybe a separate storyline to the things of which have been going on in the first year of the game with obviously Trey Stone and Coldy Walker. I feel like episode 2 kind of moved away from the main storyline slightly and obviously we didn't have Transcendence for episode 3, it got replaced with Red Patriot so I don't know what was happening there. I'm guessing maybe they didn't want to continue that storyline and that might mean that we may get like a new storyline in year two. Maybe go down a more linear path with how Wildlands did it where they had separate DLCs with Narco Road, I believe it was Fallen Ghosts. I'd love to see that to be honest because I think that kind of system worked much better than how they have the different episodes within Breakpoint. But I guess we'll have to see when that does get announced and whether there is going to be year two. They'll probably provide a bit of a roadmap for that, but they will probably be a little bit more loose with the dates and when they're going to be providing that content because they weren't able to stick with them dates for the year one content because obviously year one is pretty much ending in late February when it should have ended around about October time in 2020. So moving on I also want cosmetic and gunsmith changes. Of course as the game develops I want more and more cosmetics added to the game. I think we can all say that we really want that. I want more ghillie suits and different helmets, different armour pieces around you and even just changes to your weapon as different changes in regards to attachments and just cosmetic changes to your weapon as well. There's definitely a few things that we can change with the gunsmith to be honest. You look at a load of other games within the market including for example Call of Duty, Squad, Insurgency Sandstorm and these games have a decent gunsmith at least. Squad you can't really do much with it I guess but 
you know, they slightly do have kind of customization options for your weapons. A little bit more detail in regards to the gunsmith would definitely go far. I think that's been asked for for quite a while now within the Ghost Recon community, even since when Wildlands was about. Another improvement which I'd like to see is more for PvP. There hasn't been a lot added for PvP since launch, and I think that's definitely different compared to like Wildlands. Wildlands had an amazing PvP and they continued developing the PvP throughout the whole of its lifetime. Of course it did come, I think it was six months after the release of Wildlands, but they did continually update that and I feel like Breakpoint's PvP just doesn't get that love to be honest and I feel like PvP definitely needs a few updates within that year too. So I've talked about PvP, what about the raid? Now I think more Island was supposed to be like the second raid which was supposed to come in episode 3 but that got cancelled, so what is Moa Island? What is that island supposed to be? Maybe it is a second raid, but it's coming in year two, and they cancelled it for year one, so they can maybe develop that further into year two to make it even more enjoyable. Of course, I believe it was linked to Transcendence. Transcendence got cancelled, and obviously that was replaced with Red Patriot. But the raid wasn't really replaced with anything to be honest so maybe the raid 2 is coming maybe not maybe we'll have more island for a different application i'm not really too sure i think i'm kind of just speculating a little bit too much with what that could be to be honest but we'll see uh, hopefully there is going to be a use for more island because it's kind of just sitting there at the moment and there's nothing really going on i believe there's some glitches which you can get onto the island and i'm gonna have a little look into that and possibly get a video out on how to glitch onto the island so do keep an eye out for that. I feel like this video is going on for a little while now so we'll move on quickly on to AI teammate improvements that's another thing which I really wish they do improve. I want more commands like SOCOM, I want more things in which you can do with the AI teammates even just improving the AI enemies as well just make them smarter, make them adapt to the environment, make them more enjoyable to use instead of just being dumb AI teammates which don't really do much unless you give them four commands there. Developing the commands onto that would definitely make them a little less dumb I guess. I don't really know, I, I guess I just really want some kind of improvement to AI and I think Ubisoft need to look at the forums frequently and they also have to look at the reddit frequently for improving the AI. There hasn't been an AI improvement since Wildlands pretty much because you know Breakpoint's AI is very very similar to Wildlands. But anyways the list could <laughs> literally go on um, but I'm going to try to cover as much as I can within videos throughout this year just to voice my opinion on certain things I might make an overall video of what I expect for the next Ghost Recon game which I think would be pretty good because obviously Operator Drewski made one and I think that had quite a lot of support for that and I just kind of want to voice my own opinion on what I think what do I want for the next Ghost Recon game because I think I've got quite a few points in which I'd like to make but anyways I'm rambling on here so I'll end the video right here thanks for watching Hope you have enjoyed the video, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that like button. Also hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching everyone if you've managed to get this far into the video. I know I've rambled a little bit there but I like to you know, get my point across. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next video.